give the guy a couple of bucks, will you? I can't move nobody. You move me pretty good, don't you? What you doing with all this money? I'm losing it. Why don't you at least buy yourself a new pair of sneakers or something? Six. Uh, that's eight altogether, right? Okay. Jerry, I'll see you around in the back. Look at this. A hundred dollars on my kick for a month. Listen, I got a score for you. Oh, yeah? Something I think you'll like. Pretty easy, you know? It's a supermarket. I think it's perfect for us. I mean, if you're interested. I know you like to work alone. Forget about scores. Look a few horses. That Monday night football. But forget about scores. Where you'll end up in a can. You need money. I book horses. I book games. I'm broke. I don't have any money. Every son of a bitch around here that owes me money paid me. Maybe I could do something. Like that jerk over there, Buddy Scalise. He owes me 400 for three months. This kid over here? Yeah. The can suit? Yeah, that's it. Well, why don't you collect? You hear what I said? Buddy Scalise. Jimmy Scalise is nephew. So what? I mean, so what? You know who Jimmy Scalise is. Let me understand something. Because his uncle's Al Capone, that mean you don't have to pay him? What do you think? Why don't you introduce me to this kid? For what? Because I would like to meet him. And you want to abuse him? I don't want to. I just want to meet the kid. I mean, if his uncle's such a big-time racket guy, like, I'm impressed by stuff like that. Are you going trouble? No, I just want to meet the kid. You mean just fool around? Yeah, just like, you know, break one's little. I'll introduce you. All right, let's go. There's two kinds of people in this world. There's the sheep and the shepherds. And there's wolves, too. Hey, buddy, hey. Listen, just say hello to a friend of mine, Jerry Blanty. How's it going? Shit, my horse got boxed today. I dropped 500. 500? Excuse me, uh, Mr. Squeezy. Let me ask you a question. How can you bet $500 on a horse race when you're my friend here, 400? Hey, who is this guy? I thought he was your friend. He doesn't mean anything. Yeah, wait a second. Excuse me, uh, your name is Buddy Scalise, right? Is there any chance related to Jimmy Scalise? Yeah. I thought so. There's a very strong resemblance in the eyes. I'm his nephew. You're Jimmy Scalise's nephew? I know a lot about your uncle. He's a big-time guy. That's right. Let me ask you just one more question. How come... Such an important man like Jimmy Scalise. That's such a motherfucking loser like you for a fucking nephew, huh? Okay. Doesn't make him any better than anything else. Now you're gonna pay my friend the money or I'm gonna bite your fucking heart out. You crazy bastard! Take a fucking hike. Go ahead. Take a hike. I'm not gonna put you this. You're gonna pay for this? Hey, college boy, go walk your pool before I really get mad and bite your nose off. Go ahead, take a walk, I said. <laughs> nice kid, eh? This is pretty good. I don't believe you. You know what you did? Huh? What? You started a lot of trouble. What are you talking about? I am the smoothest silk. You can view this film in its entirety in my Substack. The address is John William Tui, where we feature this and other full features along with hundreds of pages on the mob across America. The Death Collector is a 1976 low-budget crime film directed by New Jerseyite Ralph DeVito and starring Joseph Cortese, Joe Pesci, and Frank Vincent. It was Ralph DeVito's only film as a director and Joe Pesci's first build appearance in a movie. Upon its release, the tagline to this film was if you like The Godfather and Dog Day Afternoon, then this is your kind of motion picture. The film was originally released in 1975 and became a cult favorite. For around a year, it was screened in the Los Angeles area. Pesci and Vincent's performances in the film were met with high critical acclaim. Actor Robert De Niro saw the film and recommended them to director Martin Scorsese for Raging Bull, which was the start of De Niro's numerous collaborations with Pesci and Vincent. The plot is that we follow the progress of Jerry Bolanti, a small-time mafia-connected hood with a short-tempered crook, is just out of prison and looking for work. He discovers almost by accident that he has a talent for debt collecting and intimidation. 
He then decides to pay a visit to a mid-level wise guy acquaintance and offer up his services. His first task is to collect from a certain Bernie Felchu. Before he can deliver the swag to his capo, he is intercepted by Bernie's henchmen, who take back the money and leave him for dead. Jerry returns to Bernie's home while still healing from his gunshot wounds and extracts a moderate amount of retribution. Bernie's response is to hire a top-notch